What's up, everybody? Universe got me down lately. My mojo's been out of wax, and there's only one solution for that. Mojo Chili. In order to properly get your mojo together, you need the right mojo chili ingredients. We're going to start with bacon grease, then onions, shallots, some garlic, and then brown our ground beef. We're going to add the vegetables of two green peppers and a jalapeno, some spices including cumin and salt, some hot sauce, I prefer sriracha which is sweet, some more sweetness with carrots, some mustard. red wine vinegar, the magic of beef bouillon, a blend medley of beans and tomato sauce. And then we're ready to go. First, we're gonna put a pot over medium heat and then we're gonna add our saved bacon grease. Then we're gonna add a chopped onion to the bacon grease and cook until the onions are glossy. So now I'm totally gonna cheat here because I know before I said that I was gonna add garlic. Typically I would dice up a bunch of cloves of garlic and add it into this, but I found out that I had some leftover garlic sauce from some amazing shawarma a couple nights before and decided to add that instead to see if it had a good effect. And it was amazing. Then we're gonna add some shallots and mix those in and cook those down a bit too. Now is a good time to add two pounds of ground beef, mix well, and brown. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper here. It's good to season as you go. A good rule of thumb is to reseason every time you add a major new element. Once your ground beef is mostly browned and your onions and shallots and garlic have cooked down, now is a good time to add your other vegetables. Add in your two chopped green peppers and your jalapeno. Carrot's a new addition to my chili recipe, which I've liked the last couple times I've done it, so I kept it. It's time to season up. Add your cumin, your chili powder, and any other hot sauce that you might want to add before you're going to add in your tomato sauce, which is going to bring everything back a bit. Give a good attack of mustard, a nice big dollop. You can use brown mustard or yellow, but be careful, too much mustard is going to completely overwhelm your chili. Now give a few good shakes of red wine vinegar. Now mix in your beef bouillon. Now you add your beans. But you can go nuts. Go nuts with your beans. Just go totally nuts with your bean selection. You can't have enough beans. Okay, you can. So I'm gonna cheat here for a second, but it's really about an improvisation. As I was going back and forth to the fridge, I realized we had a bag of frozen corn. 
and I absolutely wanted to add those in for this version. Good Mojo Chili is all about improv. Finally pour in one jar of tomato sauce and I add a little extra water to bring everything together. Season one more time, a little salt and pepper before you cover and let simmer. Until you can hear it reach a simmering boil and then lower your heat to low and let it simmer for over an hour. You can check and stir at intervals. At some point, you're gonna to wanna to uncover the pot and let the water boil off until it's cooked down to your desired thickness. Then serve in some kind of ancient voodoo artisanal bowl and make sure to cover with shredded extra, extra sharp cheddar. That is the Mojo way. Add all the extra Mojo you can muster and serve. Sometimes when things get all wonky, you need some powerful tools to get your mojo back in order. I got my mojo spoon, I got my mojo doll, and we got some mojo chili. Dig in. Mm. What's the word? Do we get our mojo back? It's the best chili ever. Thanks, everybody. See you next time on another food drama. Hope your mojo is as slick as mine. Get yourself some chili.